You probably heard the term color grading many times surfing through the internet to search for ways to make your footage look better and more cinematic. But this term has been abused in many relations. So in this video, I will show you a simple approach that allows you to capture stunning footage with your drone with as much detail as possible using a flat color profile called D-Log M. And then bring back colors by using basic techniques like color correction and color grading. But now you're probably thinking, I'm a beginner, so this is way too complicated for me. It's not. Because with the Movavi Video Editor 2024, it's straightforward to apply pre-made LUTs or even add your own custom LUT if you need to. Let's start by understanding the term cinematic. It covers a lot more than just a video clip by itself. In general, cinematic often refers to the unique look of the video, the composition, the coloring, the camera angles, which will differ a lot depending on what instructor is behind. We could spend a ton of time discussing all the ideas behind each instructor's creative vision, but that's outside the scope of this video. But just to give you an idea, a very known example, The Matrix, which uses a very recognizable green palette representing the computer-generated world. This choice of coloring helps distinguish between the real and the computer-generated world. So the idea with color correction and color grading is to keep a consistent look throughout the video. We are not movie instructors, so we can use a more straightforward approach to make our drone footage look as good as it can. If you fly one of the smaller drones from DJI or Autel, there is a certain limitation how much information that you can capture when you are out filming, especially if you are filming in contrasty environments. If there is a big gap between the highlights and the dark areas of your footage, it's often here where the camera will struggle. If you decide to use a standard color profile, which is usually 8-bit, you need to ensure that you get everything right while you're filming, as there's not too much wiggle room in post-production afterward. Most of the newer drones can shoot in 10-bit, containing a lot more colors. And a flat color profile that helps compress the information and protect the highlights and dark areas in your footage. The downside to this approach is that the footage will look absolutely horrible without any kind of post-production. Just look at this footage from the castle of Fredensborg that is shot with the DJI Air 3 with D-Log M color profile. Even if you sense that the location and timing of day is perfect, the footage does not look very flattering. We can fix that, but you need to understand the difference between color correction and color grading. Color correction would be where you typically fix the exposure levels. You bring back the colors to a neutral color space like the Rec. 709. So basically fixing all the fundamentals. Color grading is what you typically do to the footage to make it look a certain way, like the example with the matrix. But we gotta fix the fundamentals first, especially if you have footage coming from multiple cameras. And bringing all the clips into the color space Rec. 709, that will make that task a lot easier. Let's use the clips from the castle as an example inside the Movavi video editor and find a suitable position that will allow us to get a nice overview of the footage. We could start out by making all sorts of manual adjustments, but to get a consistent look, we need to use a lot, which is short for lookup table. A lot is simply a filter or a preset, so you don't need to pull the handles by yourself. Start by going under the effects menu, where you can apply visual effects to your video and photos. Select the last option called LUTs. The Movavi video editor includes a wide selection of LUTs that can be used for color grading the footage, giving it a unique look. There are 10 presets included for free. But that will likely not solve the fundamental color correction of your footage. What you want to do first is to find a LUT that is designed specifically for the camera that you're using. Manufacturers usually provide LUTs to make it easier for you to do the basic color correction of the footage. In this case, a LUT on the DJI website will allow me to color correct the D-Log M footage and bring it to the desired Rec. 709 color space. Download the cube file and store it in a location where you can easily find it. Because the sensor is the same on the Air 3, the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 4 Pro, all capable of shooting D-Log M, you can use the same LUT for these drones as a starting point. You can import the custom LUT from DJI by pressing the plus located in the upper right corner in the LUTs tab under the effects menu. Locate the file and press open and your imported custom LUT will appear under My LUTs ready to use. You can rename it if you like. To apply it, simply drag the newly imported custom LUT from here onto the clip 
and you will see the correction is instantly applied. Here you can see the difference before and after, but we are not done yet. If you have multiple clips, just highlight them all and drop the LUT onto one of the clips and it will be applied to all. You can see they are applied with the little FX icon saying one on each clip. This approach is not a universal solution, so you might have to go in and manually adjust each clip to get it perfect. To do that, you can with the selected clip, just press the shortcut called color adjustments. From here, you have access to the general and pre-included color grading presets, as well as the manual mode where you can adjust parameters like brightness, contrast, saturation, highlights, shadows, and much more, but this can easily get out of hand. So I would recommend grabbing the auto white balance preset and applying that to the footage. Now you can go into the manual mode and make the final adjustments from here. You might be thinking, why didn't he use the white balance picker that's under the manual mode? And I could have done that too. With that, you can point on a white area on the screen as a guideline, and the white balance will be corrected according to that. But in combination with the lot applied, it does not produce a very consistent result. But that might be a bug, but I found that using the auto white balance preset produce a more consistent result. But feel free to experiment with the solution that works best for you. Now with the color correction in place, I would go under the manual mode. I'm applying some subtle changes to emphasize the colors of fall, as this is what I want for this type of footage. So for this example, this would be the color grading part. I will encourage you to play around with the sliders until you find something that you like. Let me just show you the difference from the raw footage, applying the LUT, adding the white balance, and then making the final manual adjustments. You can save this preset and give it a meaningful name so you can reuse it on similar footage repeatedly. Just note that you need to apply the custom LUT and the auto white balance, as well as your saved manual presets to get a consistent look throughout your footage. So as you can see, it's very easy to use. And if you don't believe me, you can download the Movava Video Editor 2024 and take full advantage of a free seven day trial to test out what I've shown you here in this video. There is a link in the description below. And if you decide to purchase the program, you can get a 20% discount by using the code that is listed in the description as well. If you use my link, you will get a My Channel Pack effects on top of this as a gift. You can decide to take the lazy approach and apply one of the presets provided. But I prefer the method shown in this video as this gives me full control. Let's pick one just to show you what it looks like on the footage. Let's say that you want to see the difference or simply want to disable the LUT. You can do that by clicking on the FX icon. That will get you directly to the clip properties where you can enable, disable and even remove the color grade that you have applied. This is super simple and you should try it out. Let me know what you think about this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask any questions below as I'm here to help you. And if you want to watch some of the other videos that I've made around the Movavi video editor, I'll make sure to include a playlist that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.